All right, hello. Hello, it's me. Hello. Sorry to uh, drop a jump scare face reveal on you, but um, now you can see why I hate anime, because it turns out I am anime. Greetings, welcome to Jadseya, a celebration of, of the, uh, the year. Um, I'm so nervous, I can't even sit still. Look at me bouncing up and down like that. Here we go. Uh, we have a good show lined up for you tonight. We have Joseph Anderson Video Game Analysis. All the music tonight was made by Teef. T-I-E-F-F. Teef. Teef. And the first award that we're giving out tonight is... Best Game Streamed. Oh man, look at that. Man, what a, what a year of streamings, huh? What a year of streams. We, we played a lot of games this year that came out this year, but also some classics from back in the day. And um, I gotta say, there's there's a, a nominee here that's kind of weird, but when you look at it from like the best game that we streamed regardless of when it came out, like it deserved to be on there. There are dozens of weebs in the chat right now. Nate, hundreds, hundreds th there are thousands, millions, if you count all the weebs that are watching this in the VOD on YouTube, not on my second channel though, on a highlight. How are there over 2,000 people here for Umi who gives a fucko? I, I only have I only have nine more streams to, to finish this before I die. Hold on, let's go, let's go, come on. You don't have that. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't have long. You're right, thank you. <laughs> And the winner for best game streamed is Umi Neko When They Cry. Congratulations to Umi Neko. I think deserve, but like, wow, what a spread, huh? What a spread. We're gonna go straight into the next award, I think, which is a big one the Fido Award. Faffing about in the open world award for when we are streaming but not playing the game. We just we just faffed around a little bit. That's why it was. That would be detail, Steven Spielberg. But no, instead it's just fucking stealth mode. Puts on his T-Rex fucking slippers and just walks into the fucking compound and just like ready to just catch a raptor in midair. Okay. But is Bikoi circumcised, Balder? Oh no, this isn't the one with the with the big titted girl that is she hits her own face with her tits, is it? I do not smell. I am very clean. I am the cleanest one here. But Joe, we're Joseph Anderson. You'd rather they hide there and spit in your burger? What compared to like seeing them spit my burger and then I have to eat it out of politeness? No, I'd rather live in ignorance, please. The very sensible bet. If Joe streams this month, I will do the following. Read the entirety. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. What's the marble? What is it? It's a video game. Oh my God. There's a picture. That's enough blowjobs for me. You know what I mean? So my hot take is that uh, Cars 2 is better than Cars 1. Cars 1 is literally about Owen Wilson being Owen Wilson and he has to fix a fucking road. And the Fido award goes to the Pixar stuff. Blink, 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 blink. I'm back, I'm back. All right. Whew, whew. Surprised that one won. I'm surprised. I thought, I thought the anime one was gonna win for sure. I thought the anime one was gonna win. Um. All right, I almost played the Witcher 3 video. Oh my God. All right, there we go. The Steinsgate Award. The Steinsgate Award. Damn, I'm glad the manga cuts out this boring shit. Oh, does it? So it's like Steins Gate all over again, huh? All right. Is this worse than, than Steins Gate's pacing? What is it about the weebs just always having a worse game? The grass is always browner on the other anime. What the fuck? Every single time, Steins Gate, oh, this is fucking nothing compared to Umineko. And now we're playing Umineko and it's like, oh, this is nothing next to fucking Higurashi. And then we're gonna play fucking Higurashi. And it's gonna be, oh, this is nothing next to fucking Angel Doku fucking meh 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 meh. Like, oh, what the fuck? And the Steinsgate Award for the Mastake stream game goes to... Umi Neko When They Cry. Imagine putting question marks in the chat right now. Imagine. Imagine. Next category is... Best Joe Moncton Anecdote. Do -do 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 -do.
I step out onto the front porch. All four of them look over, and because they heard it, look over at me, and one of them says, I swear to God, wow, they're everywhere. Leo wore the Freddy hat out, and we went to the candy store, and I didn't realize that Five Nights at Freddy's was this well-known. I didn't know it was the fucking phenomenon that I missed. Like, the the cashier at the um, at the at the candy store who was not a young person looked at Leo and said nice FNAF hat and he looked at her and just kind of like didn't smile no expression just looked at her and went it's Freddy <laughs> <laughs> and the award for best Joe slash Moncton anecdote goes to they're everywhere Hey yo everyone, it's Joe on the phone. I uh, can't believe I won. Can't believe I'm on the phone. Coming to you live from Moncton. Just wanna say thank you to everyone who voted for me to win this award. And in all seriousness, I'm glad that you seem to enjoy my really unfortunate stories that happen uh, about living in Moncton and uh, the shenanigans that we get up to. Um, I don't know if there are gonna be any more next year. It, if it happens, it happens, but we're going to move on to the next one now, um, which is best Lily cameo. Good luck, Lily. Umi, Neko, When They Cry. So I, I launched the game to make sure, and then I heard the seagulls, the seagulls crying, and my dumbass thought that maybe the seagulls at some point were upset about something, and then when I heard the like, cry, cry, I'm like, oh yeah, they do call that a cry, don't they? <laughs> So when when if you heard Lily, if you heard when the seagulls cry, do you think the seagulls are sad? It makes me think of Prince. Prince? When doves cry? Get out. Get out. Now that's what I call Elden Ring and Prince. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> this is what Merrick made for the video. Uh, because I did this part, made it, showed it to Lily, and she was like, I don't get the joke. And I was like, what do you mean you don't get the joke? And, 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 and she's like, what? I'm like, that, those albums that we used to have when we were kids, you know, and now that's what I call music. Did you have those here? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, that, that's, what, that, that's what that is. And she's like, what do you mean? <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lily. Gosh, this is amazing. I didn't actually think I would win. If I'd known, I would have prepared a proper speech. I want to thank everyone who voted for me. You're very sweet. And I also want to send love to someone who is an endless source of inspiration, amusement, and joy, not just for me, but for many. Joms, we love you. Thank you for being you. Holy shit, is that Rachel Amber? Best writing in a stream game. The dining room, which looked exactly like you'd imagine a rich person's dining room to be. <laughs> Ushiromiya Kinzo, the age family head of the Ushiromiya head family. <laughs> you can't really tell grandfather's story without covering that pivotal event back before the Showa era. <laughs> 1926, 1989. All right. Of course not. Last year, his life expectancy was estimated at about three months, which I guess means he's got negative nine months left now. <laughs> And the best writing in a streamed game for 2024 is Umi Neko When They Cry. Most memorable Joe voice acting. <laughs> I'm so bad at impressions. Oh, wish I could read. Yo, Jessica, what's this now? <laughs> So I was Joe on the phone for a second. Oh, Battler Cut, that was such a nice fucking thing that you just said. Tell me more, I'm so fucking blushy crushy. Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about Skibbity Toilet. It, it really warms my, my dying gamer heart that the next generation also really likes Valve memes. So it's like, uh, I can't do an Arnold voice. It's, it's, it's like all the time, all day, I am coming and coming. It's like it's something like that. And the most memorable Joe voice acting moment of 2024 is... Skibbity. The next one is 
a quick one, so we'll just we'll just rip the band-aid off and we'll just get through it real fast. Best Joe sound. And we're just gonna get right to it. Please enjoy the best Joe sound montage. I, I don't I can't do it. Try to do the recreation. Is it is it funnier that the VTuber is doing it? <laughs> and the best Joe sound of 2024 is chicken noise. Anyway, that was uh, the best Joe sound. And we're going to move promptly on to the next category because that one shouldn't even be a category. And it probably won't next year because I don't think there's going to be enough sounds to do it. The next category is best gaming moment. Please enjoy. What was your favorite 13 Sentinels character? <laughs> 